Hi there, TNT. It's Mr. Jericho here with another one of our lessons. We continue going through our Agents of Grace book, and today we are at 3.1. Jesus is the bread of life. You know, I'm a little hungry. Do you guys want to make some toast with me? This morning, I went to Trader Joe's, and I got our favorite toast. Cinnamon raisin bread. So, let's go. Let's go make some toast right now. Sorry about the messy kitchen, you guys. All right. So, we got our toast. Get our toast. A little messy. Getting our toaster here. All right. You know, it's after lunch. And I'm not that hungry, I just I just need just a little bit. So I'm just gonna make one toast. One should be enough. Put it to four, three or four. Press that down. Well, today we are learning about Jesus. Jesus is the bread of life. He offers salvation to those of us who trust in him as savior and promises an eternal home in heaven where we will never be hungry or thirsty again. Our verse is found in John 6, 35, where Jesus declares, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Anyone who comes to me will never go hungry, and anyone who believes in me will never be thirsty. A miracle is an amazing act that can only be done by the power of God. Um, and a symbol is an object or a picture that represents something else. Here, Jesus uses word pictures to, to say something about himself and for us to trust in him. Jesus' promises are still true today. Those of us who trust in him as Savior can look forward to spending forever with him in heaven. So, what are you guys learning this week? You are learning that we use symbols and words to help other people understand what we mean. So we might say, um, my fingers are like icicles. Does that mean our fingers become icicles? No, that just means we're really, really cold, right? Jesus also uses word pictures and symbols that were familiar to people that were listening to his teachings uh, back in the day. Uh, each statement that Jesus made is true and it tells about something about him. When we believe that Jesus died for our sins, and choose to trust in Him as our Savior, we are promised that we will get to live forever in heaven with Him. And that is what we're learning today, that Jesus is the bread of life. The first thing that we want to tell you is that Jesus is the Son of God. He came to earth, He lived a perfect life, He never sinned, and He died to take the punishment of our sins, according to 1 Corinthians 15, 3-4. We also know and learn that Jesus taught us about himself and why he came to earth. Jesus often used pictures or symbols to help people understand that he is God's son and that he offers eternal life to those who trust in him. Jesus finally, oh man, I don't know if we're burning this. Whew, a little burnt. I'm going to wait to touch that later. That's getting smoky. Jesus finally is the bread of life. Those who trust in Jesus as Savior have the promise of eternal life, John 3, 16. Jesus promises to always be with us here on earth, and one day he will come back again, and we will get to live with him forever in heaven, where we will no longer be hungry or thirsty, and there's no more pain. While he lived on earth, Jesus, God's Son, often found symbols, word pictures, to help people understand what he was teaching. Jesus is the bread of life. When we trust him as savior, we have the promise that we will spend forever with Jesus in heaven, where we will never get hungry or thirsty again. Quick lesson for you guys while you're making toast. I hope you guys have a great, great week. I am gonna enjoy this toast now. Maybe I'll even give you guys a sample of the crunch that you hear. Oh, it's not that bad. Look, this is toasted nicely. Maybe it's a little dark on one side. Are you guys ready for the sound? Here, I'll make you hear the sound. <laughs> 